going on guys? It's Boomer and Tyler Beast. We're ready for another match next game as we have the Funders taking on against the Pelicans. Now this matchup is going to take all its time. It's a win or go home for New Orleans Pelicans. They're losing a lot of tempo in the pace. That's because of OKC Funders. They were doing it on its own. The better technique is keeping your eyes on it straight. Now they're ready to take this on things. Let's find out who's going to take the win. And now for the next commentary on the other side, I will have the same camera angle here for the broadcast, but the next one up I have it across here is Fan. He's also along with the other commentaries of the crew, as we have is never taking another look. This time it's Gangs to Beast, and finally on the third commentary of the crew, we have it across is Nickel. And Ally Will Force will be on the sideline for tonight's game. We'll see you all back later here for the post-game show after the final buzz sound of the horn. Yep, you name it. Let's get going. She recordings Alexander's on Josh Giddy with Josh Giddy. Then she McCollum's with Herbert Jones. Brandon Ingram's with Zion Williamson. And Jonas Collins is in center. And the other side, Lugin Stewart with Jalen Williams. And Chet Holmgren is in center. Off to Smoothie King Center. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. And are ready to approach the locker room. Game 4 and Crescent City of NOLA. Hey everybody, it's Fan and I'm here at Smoothie King Center. Tonight's matchups is in between of the Pelicans and Thunders. It's a win or go home game. The last one will be on for every game. If the Thunders win, it will be moving on to the second round. As with the key matchups in between the Gordon Alexander and McCollum, these are the pair two in the point guard position. They're about to take things on. Now we have the good call right over here. Senior Gordon Alexander may be the great toughest guy you ever played for. But how well do you have to do? We'll see you when he gets there down. Toughness it is the greatness to beat everybody on the key. They love it, let's see what they can do. Add that one simple in. You know, I was really seeing it what it is. It might be the last part of it, but hopefully we'll get to see what they can do to try to get it back. Now to start things off here, here's Holmgren. He will give it again to the Williams, and now back again to Shady Gordon's Alexander. Open look on the outside, he now tries to find over Giddy. Look again to Williams. For a start for two, this one will drop in for Williams. His first bucket appearance here for OKC Thunders. Now here's Ingram, he will get up to Williams. Oh, wow, that was like a high flyer out there. You soar up, you're never going to let this one go by. Huh? Well, take all you can now. Uh. That's <laughs> a big one. The power movement is not really what you mentioned it, but that's what Williams does to start things off. Here's Giddy for two. This one will go back the other way. As Giddy will have his first bucket. Now McCullough will have the ball. That's the guy here on the outside while he chooses with the screen. And toward the middle. On oh, the drive, no good. He throws Alexander with his first rebound now as it began. Here comes Dork. For the finish, that pass call. Calls on Herbert Jones. That'll be his first personal foul and their first team foul for Nola. Now the third play of it is not what you just do. Herbert Jones did that one a little too late. Lugin Stork was able to try to attack. He's trying to look at his concentration to the ring. Go for full speed, but that takedown got him worse. It didn't start off that appearances, but gotta make sure you have that one eye balling. Lugin Stork at the free throw line, shooting two with just under seven minutes to start in the first quarter of the game. It's the first free throw for Lujan Stork. Now, I was expecting what Lujan Stork might do. If he does have a lot of one, what do you guys think of how well he will do? The next round is just going to take all of the time. I mean, I was really sure enough that he would be able to be happy enough. But not when he gets this thing over with, with his higher percentage rate. I want to know what he can do if he can try to, like, sell it down. And a second free throw will set in for Lujan Stork. 
Hey, always the chill pill, but now, I mean, just do what you can. <laughs> I mean, we will. I mean, we'll, we'll see what he does. Here's a chance. And this one is rejected off by Holmgren. Here's Holmgren to finish the drive if the arc puts it in, as Holmgren has his first bucket. Now that the other way has Ingram will have it. Now he finds Valentinus again to Jonah. Jones off to Valentinus for three. Off the rim and it's rebounded by Holmgren. Holmgren with the second rebound of the night, now back to Giddy. Here's a take, Holmgren to finish the up, and that drive will put it into count. After Giddy with the assess. He's just gonna let that happen. But that one was really making it feel like he's all in percentage now. Let him handle it. And CJ McConnell drives up, and he's fouled. That'll be his first personal foul for Shady Gurdys Alexander, which is down to, we're making a range of six minute mark. CJ McCollum at the free throw line, which will be their first trip in game four for New Orleans Pelicans. We really gotta make sure that this one's not gonna be easy enough. CJ McCollum might have another appearance if he can get that one there. First trip in the free throw line will be no Orleans Pelicans. And this one will take for some time with two shots. It's the first free throw. CJ McConnell is definitely doing really well. Played right now for Glen Road Cal and High School in Canton, Ohio, and then he made his college debut with Lehigh. How did it really happen when he played it for his better performances before his first pick on his 10th pick in the first round in 2013? Well, they just really like that. CJ McCollum is really like an excellent star, but hopefully in that one he might step up to his level of cover or do right. And I expect that it might be what they take. CJ McCollum might have it all if he can get that one stumbled down. Now starting these off, Williams again to Giddy. Giddy trying to battle again, looking for more room, and get Gordix Alexander for three for Dort. Miss the outside as McCollum will have it. Five three left to go in the first quarter. Over again to Joska. Herman Jones with the first bucket, and now it's a 5 30 game in the first in the first quarter. Now he's off again to Williams. Now he finds Giddy. Giddy now gives a go to the Gordon Alexander. The finish! Great solid defensive effort by CJ McCollum. Jones outside, not finding McCollum. McCollum not finding Valentinus. To make a sliding quick, the pass, Valentinus with the dawn. Oh man, we love the dunks now. Valentinus a bigger star to have that one too. Here's Giddy from the corner range. Slides and step in. Round of two. This one will take in for Josh Giddy. He has his second bucket. Pelicans still 50% for his field ball. Only 71 for OKC Thunders. Timeout call by New Orleans Pelicans. 442 left to go in the first hit quarter of the game. We will decide to talk things over. Now, to call with the fact out there, I was really impressing that the Thunders are really are stepping it in now. The Pelicans, I have never seen a win. So if they have that one with an answer, they might just go back in there and say, hey, we've got a great uh, chance if we can get that one stayed in the line from each side. We've really got to let that one keep going. They really are going to make that one like hard and challenge already. I mean, that's what you all do for. Because he's making that one look easy enough to make that hard on their solo. That skill meet, meets me. They really never have to let it go down and it will never fly down. I mean, that's just what they did. They gotta make sure they have it up. And let's talk about this one here. Willie Green has definitely played here for for his count of his education and, and graduated from the University of Detroit. He now has another one is and he has played professionally with the Sixers, then the Hornets, then the Hawks, then the Clippers, and the Magic. And that was the second pick since 2003 by the Seattle Supersonics. But a layer required for the Sixers. How did that really happen for Willie Green if he took it all for him. Well, the better effort has to be Willie Green. It has to be all for good. But that effort doesn't happen to stay in there 
and this one really has to take all of it with this better effort. I never see what this goes in, but I really agree. What you can say now is, get the credit run, I better look. The miss puts up here for Zion Williamson, and now has it again. Here's Holmgren. He's all alone. That shot was off the mark, and Valanciunas back again to Beckham. Finds a pass to Ingram. In towards the corner, trying to find an open look. Off end of the two. This one's missed again as Holmgren will have it back pass and again to Giddy. Finds a pass. Here comes his word to Alexander to finish a cutting drive. Makes it end. That'll be his first bucket for the Thunders of Child Chang and Gordon Alexander. That drive take is nowhere to be looking at it. You're going to get it through. And now the cheers pick off to the Chicago. Oh, what a big time. Trying to cut the Duke down by four. 3.45 left to go. Dork tries to look over again to Giddy. Giddy tries to make the cut. Almost loose. Williams trying to pull a step back here without three second violation. Dork. Here's the three for Williams. And it's up in it. Williams has five points in this game. Under 3.30 left to go in the first quarter. Now the pass will find it to CJ McCollum. He finds it again about a chance. Looks it over. Jones on the outside trying to pick up a screen. With the finish. Oh, Ogren! Unbelievable block out there. That's when you don't mess them up at all, man. That's when you can't make that one feel go for. A biggest playoff drive. Now that's what I just called him out there. After Shaker Gordon Salantan with the drive, that's when you know Holmgren is trying to get slowed down. I mean, unbelievable. And what a big play. He does it again. How can you feel like Holmgren's going to take it over? I don't know. <laughs> but that's what you always say. Can't lose the control with Holmgren. Now was a couple players checked out as well as with Gordon Hayward. And now Cody Zellers checked in for Valanchunas. With Alvarado, Danielson Murphy, and Larry Nance Jr. Zeller finds the pass to Nance Jr. Passing over in front. That misses off the target for Nance Jr. Gives the pass off to Hayward. Gordon Hayward trying to give up again to Williams. Oh! what he was going to do. I thought Cody Zeller got the ball. Oh, it's not going to be easy at that point. I thought that was, but I think that ankle breaking must have had that one slipped. Here's a Hayward step back, and that one will first in drop by for Gordon Hayward. 21 to 10 is the score. 2 13 left to go in the first quarter. The next time I will be called by New Orleans Pelicans with 2 11 to go. Well, they're going to need to talk things over. That offense is not going to let it pick him up at that point. They really are having a little bit of trouble here. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by, by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Ruffles, official chip of the NBA. by AT&T, 5G, connecting changes everything. Now let's have a look over the other side. American basketball player of the coach, Mark Dignot. He's definitely one of the better new head coaches in between and he's definitely had done with it after spending five seasons with the Oklahoma City Blue, but the Thunder's G League but now, he became a head coach for the Thunders this time. He's really like into now after when they transferred from Connecticut to Florida. His coaching career has been playing about high runs to take. First starts off the Holy Cross, then Florida, then OKCP, and now the Thunders, assistant to the head coach. Well, it's been not that long, I mean, already. But that assistant has just really been turning to be like it's a higher, higher year than that. But I was really happy that Martinelle Gray to help his team out. He's really looking for his head coach to get for a job. And I'm hoping 
there's an error place plate to get from here. And that shot goes in for Daniel. See, I'll have his first bucket. Funders trying to grab it here as Wiggins will have the ball. Near from the wing and now finding Hayward. Goes the ball back again to Wallace. Wallace over that pass to Hayward. Now has it again to Wiggins. Four to two. And this one will drop in as Wiggins will have his first bucket. Hayward with his first assist, 23 to 12. The Pelicans trail by 11. He will have it again to Nance Jr. Hayward blocked that pass. Open over it, and he will have it back. And, make, and that's Daniels will have an error bucket here. They are back down to get that catching breath in. Really must maintain it now, but Daniels is really like going to aggressive start. Gordon Alexander with the screen, open with the elbow look, and he got to go. We got Gordon Alexander with six points, 27.1 average percentage here, and now he's trying to get another good to go ahead takes. Daniels, back to Zeller. Zeller trying to make his way down toward the middle. The hard D puts up by Williams, and now this will be another rebound for the RDC Fighters as Williams has got two rebounds. Wallace. Williams. Now I'm going to go with Gordon Alexander. Yeah, Gordon Alexander trying to step it in there as he would have to the outside for three. And he has nowhere to go. He makes a three-pointer. 28 to 14 is a score. This is what they all do. Gordon Hayward just got to let that one go flying in. I uh, mean, he's really like hot here. And that illegal screen will put up an offensive foul on Tony Zeller. Last ball to his first foul. That will be the first turnover for the New Orleans Pelicans. Two players checked down, one player checked back in, and now the new substitution is already out. Nearing down the end of the first quarter, he goes off to Williams. Playing the clock wind down with 10 seconds. Joe will be checking in, and now he finds it over to get to Wallace. Wallace trying to look it over in here, not finding it again. To Blur and Hayward. Here's a two. And that one rolls in and out. First quarter comes to the end. OKC starts strong with 28-14 lead. Then they're trying to look for an answer back here for Pelicans if we get another close game. Better offense let it happen for Holmgren. He's been blocking it out of here. What a go fly. Just tuning in for the second quarter, we are about to start things up here at Smoothie King Center. Funders had a good start, 28 to 14, in the first quarter of the game, and Holmgren with three blocks. As he starts off in the second quarter, as Ingram he's with McCollum, and it's Durr having a cover on him. Then Joe is with him, and then Williams is on Marshall. Zion Williamson, he's on Holmgren and Josh Giddy on C.J. McCollum. Here's an Ingram for two. This one misses on the outside as Holmgren will give it off to Giddy. And now he's over again to Williams. Williams for two. The range puts it back for Holmgren. And now he give it over, now finding a pass back to Door. Here's Door. The step back for two. This one rolls in. Door's got a second bucket. And it's Show with the assist. Just got to believe it on that one here because Joe really had that one with the great assist. He pulled it in there, pick top. Here's Ingram, and a two will put it in. Now Joe with the ball, now finds again a door. Door trying to enter it in there, and now he's off her again, now finding Giddy. Giddy trying to roll it in now, finding again a door. Off for the two. Holmgren, oh, what a putback! It's excellent now, Chad Holmgren shows up this time. He just said, I'll tip it for you. He just had that one in there, good. Oh, just like that, Chad Holmgren. He really likes that, taking his own rebound. He said, no, I won't, I won't grab it. I'll just put it back in for you. Well, but he already had it out. I mean, he's just definitely fine. How can you fly that ball, Zion Williamson? He's a legendary. Just so we know what he does now, I mean, here, right up, and fly away. Let's hit the sword, let the bell gets flying in. Oh, what a 
big slam down for Zion Williamson, an excellent AT&T 5G slam cam. The three for Williams. That's off the rim, another miss by OKC Thunders. And off again the Williams, oh, another dunk down. 20 to 32. And they're trying to answer it back, but the time has been called by the OKC Thunders with 6.14 to go. No, they're going to need to talk it over now. I mean, what do you know? Two dunks are going to get that one off to a pretty hot start here, and they're looking to answer that one back. Well, this may be what they are expecting it. Let it go fly. Go right to the corner of it. Now we'll see group substitution on the court right now. It was a big change off on the offense, as now the Joe is checking out, and Gilbertix Alexander is checked back in. Now back again to home grade. The new changeup puts in for the Pelicans. Marshall Williamson moves it over as Jones is checked back in with Valentinus. Here's another look. Giddy for the triple. And it's off the rim again and it goes back to Ingram. 32, 20 to score. Trying to enter the two. He doesn't. No one putting in and they're back down by 10. Well, they're like happening it up right now. I mean, they're really adding up. They don't want to let that one go flying by. Here's Skitty, up at two, back again, looks to get the door. Now he finds good quarter to Alexander. Here's a take. Stepping in, finds Williams. For a step back with two, this one takes it in as Williams has seven points. They really are stepping it in now. They really want to make that one feel helpful. Now I never noticed what they could definitely do. Williams got to make sure he can get there clean at time. But that won't change everything if he does more with his routine. Now the trainer's face a shot off by Williamson. Oh, they'll do the worst this time. That's three in a row and a full down. Are you kidding me? That's a take over when you definitely take a look at this. That's what you all say. Williamson's going to fly down. God, Mama said, no, I knocked you out. <laughs> Boy. I mean, I wouldn't expect if I were you. And Dora will have that two-pointer. Six points in this game. It's now a 36-24 game. Now William Simmel is trying to handle it over. Cut it back. He takes it in. Zion Williamson looking down his flexing. But now this one is now a 36-26 game. He loses the ball. Here comes the fast break. And this one's deflected. Dort's got the ball. Great butt soon here for going Jay to Gordon's Alexander. He's in the corner right now, trying to survey the floor. Looks again at Holmgren. Goes back to Gordon's Alexander. Stepping in, looking for Giddy for three. And it's another miss by RKC Funders. You're not shooting really well. I mean, you got to make sure they have that one deflected in there. That can't let that one go right by it. And here's C.J. McCollum up for two. It's good. Another timeout call by the OKC Thunders. 3.45 left to go. They really are having a lot of great timing angles. And they're looking to come back in. All they just really definitely say is, we don't need to get this one back down. We want to keep it going. They really got to make sure they have that one settled in there if they can keep it going right away. And we're nearing down the end of the first half. The next one we'll be calling in for will be the halftime show. As, as right now, we have Missouri Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Chad Needle. We're checking in here for the first half of the game. And that will be all here coming up after the first half of the game's finish. Halftime show will be underway soon. It's coming up on its way. Out for a smoke out right now. I mean, the Pelicans are really having a little difficult time, but this might be an answer back with no trouble being realized. But hopefully, this might be a little change up if there's another go ahead goal and for some shots that they get. Will this be happening now? Or will this be a turnover for OKC Funders out of it all? Well, I might be saying that OKC Funders may have a lot of great percentage right now. They destroyed the Pelicans already. I mean, they were like flying fast, but they didn't really, really care about it that all. But how would this happen if you could try to like play for this offense? The most timeless in her, like, 
way too much. They may have no idea what they can do if they can try and stop one. This may not be what they're really going for, but this is going to change everything. Not even everybody will care about that. And especially with Nichols to go with the answer response, I think the performers are going to make that one a lot of change off too. Oh, what a try by Gordon Alexander. That's eight points in this game, and he is trying to look for his attacking motion. Go up in the lead in the first half. Now Ingram with the screen. Watching in middle. Great solid effort on Williams. He's off the Lugin start. Dork for two. This one will range in there, and number two pointer gets it going. Eight points, and Williams with the assist. We do have a reporter by Ali LaForce. Mark Dudenholt, who he's really like into a great pressure zones. They call them the key is successful, but they may not be what to take it. Well, it's just what they really do. I mean, now you get to expect. Well, how are you going to let that happen? And what Mark Dudenholt just really have to fire that out. That's what his take key technician is. Head coach complete. He's really into it now. Might find out if he goes wild in. Jones now finds Williamson. Up to two. This one can't get in. Williamson and Malatrinus comes to save the day after a miss by Williamson. The 42 30. Now they are flying inbound. Let Malatrinus speed. He's really like wanting to get this one saved by the head. Now back again to Dork. Looks a pass now finally to get a good word to Alexander. He looks over now to Williams. Williams has finished driving his foul. Ron Junich with his first personal. And a first team foul called on New Orleans Pelicans. Just only two minutes remaining in the first half of the game. As now Williams will be checking on the front of free throw line. This will be another chance for the OKC Thunders. No, really are starting to slow down right now. I mean, they're not really having, the, having enough of the good effort, but he's really like. A bad impression he's taken in there, but he cannot let that one defeat. All the effort in one motion. Williams oh, missed a free throw here. It's a new substitution on the chorus. Three players are checked out. Ingram, Jones, and McCollum on the bench. Alvarado, Daniels, and Murphy are checked in. Second free throw. Oh, that's a little bit bad on the worst already, but he's gonna have to try hard if he get that one going. And a missed one already is Williamson, and the middle of Williams got the ball. Now finds it to Williams, the other side puts it up, and good. Williams has nine points. Another Williams will be putting in there. That's Jalen Williams this time. Hey, what would happen if he let Jalen Williams got that ball in the down? He took it all for once. A hard, a hard one to take, but well, he's been going in. Ball six, Giddy's got the ball. Here we he come, here's Williams. And up as the foul, changes over. That's Williams with his first personal. And our team foul picked it up for the OKC Thunders. Oh, that's bad idea. That's bad idea to push over Williamson. That's a regression. He just made that one clear. He just made that one look easier then. He's tough, but now when you really have to mention that, William said he's a tough guy. Don't let him do the loose over if you can get there through. Murphy, for a layup. Oh, what a fancy one this is in the reverse. One minute left to read in the first half, and it's off to Gordon Hayward. Finishing up, and it goes in. He makes a drive. Seven points in this game as he's got another bucket in his run. Or it's bench points. And here's Nance Jr. Toward the middle. Ball slitters. Hayward got it back this time. Williams trying to give over again to Wallace. Wallace pulls it back to Hayward. 35 seconds remaining in the first half. And it's stolen by Alvarado. Back to back turnovers already. But this one may not be that good if you're keeping it going. Murphy against Haywood. Williamson against Williams. Back step around. I went too short here. Wallace has got the ball. Trying to get 
trying to let it go in now for two, and it's off the rim, and it ends the first half. 46-32 is the score. Funders are already on a smoke out and start, but we'll find out if the Pelicans will close the game. And we'll be right back. Halftime show's on. All right, this time right now, it's just been a little bit too difficult, but now let's have a look at the first half. Start things off here with you, Boomer, for the OKC Funders. They're really like into a great show. It might be what they're taking, but this one will never be the same if they can let that one fly over. They really are putting a lot of screen efforts in the take, but that cut is not what you take if you have the right time. And now for you, Tyler Beast, for the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, I have a lot of them to say right now. I mean, they got to make sure they have that one on a higher rate than that. Better offense needs to have that gliding technician in, and they got to make sure they have it all running in at the same time. And thank you so much. Well, we'll see them back again for tonight for 7 p.m. Let's go back down to Fan and a group. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to Smoothie King Center. We're about to start the third quarter. It's a 46-32 game. Start things off. Zion Williamson only made his professional on that point. Three dunks in a row. I mean, who's the call for that one to make a pay? Uh, I guess that he's already making that one in the Zion Williamson just really has that one with a great effort to take. I mean, all average now, let's see what he does now for his next tribute. We start off the second half as Ingram is on board in Hayward. Man, it's all great on Valanciunas. Shea and Burdick Alexander, he's with CJ McCullough. Across on the other side is Josh Key. He's with Robert Jones, and finally Williams is on Williamson. Finds a pass out by Hayward. Now again to Gregory Alexander. Side to step over again. Now finding Holmgren. Holmgren with the layup. And that offensive rebound will be tipped over. And now it's McCollum with the ball. The spin move. Loses the ball chain. Trying to pick it up. And it's stolen by Giddy. Giddy's right down toward the wing. They got some numbers here. Finding Williams. Giddy. I turn the outside again to Concordia Alexander near the logo. Finds down a home grain. Up for the layup and good. Home grain with eight points. And he's flying down big already. Well, this is what they always expect to see home grain. He's flying in. Just make that clear. Stop by. Now, CJ McCollum will have it over. Now he's off to Valentinus again to Jones. Jones trying to make good in here. The layup up, and this one puts another foul for the Thunders. Josh Giddy with his first personal. An RT foul for OKC. Robert Jones was trying to let that one go in. He's like, fly now, boy. Take the attack and reach, but don't give up the fight. That one may have been a hard thing to go with. On their own, pressure doesn't happen with both teams. Now the free throw will be coming up for Herbert Jones with only 6.47 left to go in the third quarter. A 48-34 game. He has the first free throw. Herbert Jones trying to let that one let it out. Lugin still check in for Gordon Hayward. And he gets the second free throw. Now, the Gordon Alexander will have a deep pass again to Williams, and we'll have that ball back for Josh Kitty. Here's a three for the Gordon Alexander. Makes a triple range. He has 11 points. He's flying farther than anyone else that does this for a three corners to get up there. They really are making that one smoke star. I know the Gordon Alexander didn't really think he wasn't going to start the first half, but the second half. It's going to be a lot better to take this percentage range. Williamson tries to back it up. Oh, Longbrain makes that one with another rejection saving of the night. And in comes the words Alexander for two. Tough shot, man. And he has 13 points this game. We really got to fly fast now. I mean, this one's not always what you expect to see. But I like that. Excellent move. Timeout call by New Orleans Pelicans with under six minutes. 
They have four timeouts remaining in, in the quarter, but they will find out if they will have that one next one coming in. Now we get the next one coming up. We'll take a quick side shot here and we'll get right into the game to resume the play. All offense must say, home grid denies. Near line group substitution is right now that the Thunders and the Pelicans make some new changes. Marshall's checked in and now he finds Ingram. Right toward the middle. Oh, Ingram! What a fly one to take! A lot of four downs in between for the Pelicans. But the Thunders got to be some understanding with the constipation for another uh, four downs to take. Well, this was just really one day. Brandon Ingram, what do you got? Good point, it's Alexander answers back on the throwdown. They're just really letting that one go flying in. When you go up on the high inbound, you just let Jay do his thing. Yep, it's just when they all can't let that one get messy. Jones looking down a little bit. Tom right towards in the wing, and now he gets again to Marshall. Marshall with the screen, I'm on the for two. That wheels in and out. Holmgren trying to give it over again to Josh Giddy. This season only had 42, but tonight there's 17 to pick up in game four. If Gordon Alexander trying to look for some number changes. Holmgren for two, and that's good. Number two puts up for Holmgren, he's got 10. And Gordon Alexander with the assist. Well, it's just really what the old grid does. I mean, if he has no room to open it, I mean, just go ahead and take a shot. That's a hard one that you can take. Jones finds Valanciunas. Trying to hold it, but the three seconds call on Valanciunas. He wastes a lot of time now, and this turns over to the Thunder's ball. It's just not good. When you take that blue too much time, you got to get out of the paint. But he didn't really show up really well. I mean, he has a little bit of trouble. Got to figure something else out. Cardi Salas checked in for Valanciunas, and now Gordon Alexander gives to Giddy. Giddy. Finding again to Hungry. Open three from Shane to Gordon Alexander. And I'll get it back. Pulling over, now finding Giddy. Giddy. Spins it over, now finding Holmgren, and this one will take the two. And Josh Giddy with the assist, Holmgren's got 12. Four minutes left to remain in the third quarter. And another offensive boss picked up. That's on the Pelicans, and Seller has his second personal. Oh, they're really not letting that happen now. I mean, if there's a problem with that, you've got to look it over again. You can't let this happen if another take comes in by. That's what they can't do, but don't let that one live up tonight. The Guardians Alexander now finds Wiggins. Here's the layup, and he will dish it in. Wiggins got his second bucket. Now back the other way. 3.43 left to go in the third. To the middle, he'll be fouled, and this will be the Guardians Alexander's second personal foul, and a second team foul for the OKC Thunders. Now the free throw will pick up for CJ McCollum. He'll try to figure things out next. This is have to be what they do, not what they deserve, but this one needs to give him a good look. McCollum is the first free throw. Now with another substitution as Wallace will check in for Josh Giddy. The Gordon Alexander switches over to shooting guard. And for the Pelicans, Brandon Ingram's checked out. And Murphy will check back in. And he missed the second free throw. Now he's a pass. And that's stolen by Hawkins. It's Marshall who we'll finish it off in. The Gordon's Alexander trying to let the ball go to work. Holmgren, once again to show you Gordon's Alexander. 
Looks to get the pass. Wallace McCollum with the steal. And on to another take. Looking back outside now, finds Zeller over on Holmgren. Zeller looking for some pass plays. Marshall from the wing wins. A chance to have a two point play. This was another miss here. And now we will take another missing drive for the Pelicans. Off to Shane Gordon's Alexander. Step back. Good. He's got 17 points. 2.40 to go in the third quarter of the game. They really have to mention now. Shane Gordon's Alexander still lying on the prize. Marshall trying to look for another way around. With a layup. Wiggins trying to answer it in. He's over now to be Gordon Salazar up, and it's good. Back in one, and Hawkins with the foul. 217 left to go in the third quarter. Expecting that Hawkins just made a complaint already, and he just didn't really like the call. Well, that's what did happen. Jamie Gordon Salazar is up in the shot away, and he said, I want it. Count it at one. Another free throw percentage here for the OKC Thunders with 217 left to go in the third. And I never do some petitions on the court. It's so Williams we'll checked in. Where's Alexander? It's the free throw. Here's Hawkins. He will have it again to Alvarado. Alvarado trying to switch it off. That too gets in the way. Gordon Aver with his first rebound. He now finds the liftoff to Williams. There's only two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Wiggins on the outside trying to look for some answer back. Now finding good Gordon to Alexander. Up for the side step. On Gordon Aver up and good. Aver's got nine points and good Gordon to Alexander. Keeps another assist coming back in. They're really spectacular. They're really making this one easy, you know. Pretty solid now finds Murphy. Murphy in the center. And it's stopped by Wiggins. Open up a look pass to Gabe Gouchet to Gordon Alexander. And a drive. Wow. 22 points. He's on fire tonight. Nearing down the final minute remaining in the third quarter. As he's trying to give off the Zeller. Hawkins trying to look it in the side of the middle and get Gordon Alexander with the steal. Here comes Awood. He trying to give off again to Wallace. Yes, he does. Wallace got his first bucket in. After Haywood with the assist, here's Alvarado. Alvarado trying to look it again back to Zeller. Now he finds a pass to Hawkins. Hawkins give out to Zeller and this will take it in. Zeller with his first bucket. And assist by Hawkins. Here's Wallace now finding again to Williams. They lead by 30. Off to go Lord Alexander. Gives a pass to Williams. For the two. Oh, that could play and puts it in there. Good. Shaggy Gordon Alexander getting another assist one here. And they're flying fast. Big and deep on this one here. If Williams had that rebound, taking another layup in there, that would be the hard fit to go with. And this one will put a nice touch here for Hawkins. Laying the clock going down. Wallace will have it over again now, finding Williams. Ten to shoot. Gordon's Alexander, time ticking down. Wallace with a shot, and he got it! Put only the two points in there, 76-44 is your score. Well, they're flying now. Bunnies may be hitting a chance in to get to the second round to face against the winning team. Let's see what does it all. And that's going to end it right here with the third quarter. We got the fourth quarter up. After this, NBA playoffs will continue right after these messages. Three quarters are finished. We start the fourth quarter at Smoothie King Center.
already been long right now. Some couple fans are leaving right now because the end of the day is near. And now with the final new group substitution of change is Alvarado's on Chicken Burrick's Alexander. Williams is on Nance Jr. Hayward, he's with the other one on Marshall. Then it's Cody Zeller on Williams. And finally, Cody Zeller. He's with the other player again on the other one. On uh, Williams. And finally, we have it across the year, Shea Burks Alexander. Another Williams on Daniels. Nance Jr. giving it to Daniels. Daniels as the screen puts up for Nance Jr. Helps to make the leg drive. Give off to Nance Jr. And he does it. He finally has his first bucket in this appearance one and get Gorgeous Alexander trying to pick it up. They're really making this one sure. Larry Nance Jr. may have that one to make a spell out of it by making sure he has an eye full wide open. Hayward gets again. Gordis Alexander for two. It's good. 24 points. He's like lifting up his rocket score in the first round before the second round makes his way to his accomplishment. And Marshall up. Hard contact foul, not going to give it up here for OKC this time. He looks at it again, now finding again to Hayward. Hayward to Gordon Alexander for three, it's good, on the range outside. He has 27 points after Hayward with the assist. Oh, they're really like flying down already. I mean, I don't know what they can do. They let that one keep on coming, but this one will never take a chance to slow things down. That's big. Another miss by New Orleans Pelicans. Here's Joe. Off to Williams. Give and go to Joe. Back now to Hayward. Hayward. Pass broken up by Alvarado. And a chance now for Marshall. Now the drive will be off the target as Williams gets back to Joe. And Joe will now have it again to convert to Alexander. Another two, and rules in and out. Cody Zeller now finding Alvarado. Alvarado gets to Daniels. Joe with him now. Alvarado on the board to Alexander. Let it go pass by, now finds Nash Jr. For two, and another miss by New Orleans Pelicans. Well, they're just letting that one just go in now. I mean, let it be out there. Let it, let it just go solid right now. I mean, they're really like letting that one go by in. Hayward. Hayward finds Gordon Alexander and now fighting over look on Williams. Four shoot. Over Seller. That one misses again. Daniels now finds Alvarado. Alvarado right right toward the middle, finding Daniels. That two-pointer will miss it off. Zeller and a three for Alvarado. Doesn't sink in, but only Zeller makes his rebound with under five minutes for 81-48 game. He Gordis Alexander trying to get that closing in and make your advance your way to the victory spot in the first round. And now Joe with the ball. Off again to Williams. He's looking for another chance play again to the Vernix Alexander. Williams with two. This one will sink in for double. He has a second bucket after a shade of Vernix Alexander. Well, this is what they always expected now. That Williams got a great set feet. He just made that one an easy look to have that pay off. And a layup will put in for Alvarado. He's finally made his way with the bucket. No more at all. Gordon Alexander now finds Williams with four minutes. The pass, finding Joe. Open three. That was a pretty close quarter here in the three corner ball, but he finally dug it in. Well, it's just really what Joe does. I mean, how can he let that three pointer if he's stuck in the corner already? He never gets out of the bounce that time. He's trying to avoid it. Here's Alvarado with the two. And Nervous puts in for the Pelicans. Off down to Williams. The give and go look. Solid performance effort for Daniels. 
And now off to again to Alvarado. He's up and good. Alvarado with the second bucket. 52, trying to bring it back in there, but it won't be enough. And this will be the end of the season for the Pelicans. Well, I know they are, but this may, they, they can't be letting that one to fall in behind. But that one will try to learn for the new season. And hopefully this will take all of his chance effort if he will have it back in there for real life. That two misses again as Williams has the ball. And now we'll slide it back again to Williams. You Gordon Alexander for two, and it's good. Gordon Alexander with 29 points, and that might be your New Balance player of the game. Zell with the ball. Let me go back to Daniels. Daniels for the two. The drive went too strong. Haywood now finds again over to Williams. Williams tries to give up again to Jay before Alexander. And Hayward finds the pass again to Williams, fading off with the jab step. Now back to Gordon Alexander. Here's a three for Hayward, and it makes it in. Another three pointer ducks it out. Yes, 12 points. Assisted by Gordon Alexander. Well, they're ready to lift it off, and I'm thinking they're ready for a next preparation in the second round. It's going to be amazing. Nance Jr. find again to Marshall. Marshall trying to step it in now. Rolls around. The layup is went easy for Marshall. 91 to 54, the score putting it in. We're just down to him passing a 90 second mark in the fourth quarter of game four. You're saying where do you have that puck? But the ball now finding again to Gilbertus Alexander. Finding his way through to Williams. The sidestep over Nance Jr. Another miss puts it in for OKC Thunders. And Alvarado give it again. And the dunk puts it for Daniels. What a great setup for Alvarado. He's really like into a full pressure tick so Alvarado just give it all to Daniels that fast. Williams back again to Hayward. Hayward up for two. And that misses again. Daniels with the ball. Double man on him. Nance Jr. in the middle to Alvarado. Oh, good corner to Alexander. Got a piece of it. He blocks that shot. Hey, it's calling a deny shot. That's why good corner to Alexander just made that one with the block shot to make it clear. He's over now again to Hayward. Eight on a shot clock. And Gordix Alexander for a layup up. And it's foul. By Larry Nance Jr. With 130 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter in the 91 56 game. Just really make it that one easy to know. That's shaking Gordix Alexander. Not a little bit cross checking in. But that won't change the effort to have it all range out. Not afraid for our attempt here for Gordix Alexander. Passing the clock under 30 seconds. First free throw. Another new line group substitution has now a couple players checked out. And a couple players have checked in as Joe's checked out. Wiggins and Wallace moves in. Now that they are away as Daniels has checked out, and checking back in will be Hawkins. And he makes the second free throw. Time to get down as Alvarado has a ball. Wallace, on it now. Side step in, and that will be it. And Williams will let their team move on to the next round to face against the winning team between the fourth or fifth seed. Well, it's just the one way. We win, we move on. Great game this is. And that's how you know, 4-0 is a shout-out score. They won the series, and they're heading on to the next round. That's going to do it here.
folks. 93 to 56 is your final score in New Orleans. As of right now, I hope you all enjoy this one. Fan, along with Gangsta Beast and Nickel and Alan LaForce, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Hope you all have fun with us, and we'll see you again for the next couple of days in between. Very night, everybody. Alright, thank you so much right now. This one's a great game to take all. 68, 55, and 71% percentage of his free throws, three pointers, and field goals for OKC funders, with 16 fast break points for OKC funders. Ben points in the paint was New Orleans Pelicans with 50. 10, 29, 36 was the second chance points and bench points with assists for the OKC funders. Then offensive rebounds was even. 27 defensive effort on a rebound for OKC Funders with 6 steals, 6 blocks, 6 turnovers, and 3 team fouls. That turned to be great and excellent. And it was 8 dunks for New Orleans Pelicans. 39 biggest lead for OKC Funders and 1651 was the OKC Funders. Now they were expecting right now and they have really been doing really good. Just keeping it in here like you mean it. Now it's time for 3 star players of the game. Let's roll. Now with the first star player in this game, we start things off here, as this will be all for everybody. Gordon Hayward with 12 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 5 out of 8 field goals, and 2 three-pointers were making the range in between. 21% of his performance effort just got really well. Just keeping it in here on the court, ready for game number 1 in the second round. Now for number 2 spot. This one goes out to Chet Holmgren with four blocks, only with one assist, nine rebounds, and 12 points. He just had that one with excellent effort with six out of eight field goal range. And then it was 14 performance of Fedford. He's gotten in pretty good. Tight conditions are near, but Chet Holmgren, he's the best of the star in the center. And your number one star. Number one will be putting out to be one of all, and that is where you take to finish. Shea Gergorgix Alexander. 31 points, 3 rebounds, 11 assists, and 1 steal, and 1 block. I mean, how excellent are you? Then it's 13 out of 16 field goal range with 2 3-pointers and 55 performance effort with 1 dunk. Awesome one to make the star point guard work, and he is excellent. And that's going to wrap it up here, folks. I hope you all enjoyed your first two games in the afternoon. But we'll stick you around here for the next two games for tonight as we got the Knicks battling against the Magic at the Garden. And then, on the other side, we've got your stings and covered now as we have a look on in between of the next two that we'll be finishing off for tonight's game, Nuggets against the Warriors. And then... For that, we go right into game number five on the other side, and we'll see what they can do. So that will be do done for today, and we'll get you back on the other side with sweating up some musical chairs, and then we'll get you through it. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is Boomer, and this is Tyler. Have a wonderful night in New Orleans Pelicans, and we'll see them next season. But this game will still continue. Peace out. If you don't... Somebody will.